What's up? Got a Tucson here. Let's get it open. Take a look at it. Get it disassembled. And uh, cleaned up. Tuned up. Get it checked in proper. Let's get it out of this box and get going. This is... Something that I've wanted for a long time. And just... This is one of the ones I couldn't find at a good price. This happens to me a lot. I can't find them at a good price. And so I'm just patient. Um, I've got saved watches on eBay. Whew, that's going to stick in a pocket. But I've got saved watches on eBay for knives that I'm looking for. And when they pop up, I get a notification. And uh, it's crazy how uh, D-Win will... Out of the blue, sell a knife that I've been looking for for months, maybe even a year. And all of a sudden, there's one. And so, I could take a run at it. And when they're not hyped up, you know, when this knife... This is a Tucson TS380. So, when this knife was first rolling, it was hyped up. You couldn't, you couldn't nearly buy one, like... People were paying, this is one of those people were paying ridiculous amounts of money for. Um, it's only got 14 C28N steel in it, but I guess it's just one of them that the look, the feel appeals and people want it. Can't touch that. Got a good full backspacer. I mean, if I really try, I can catch that little piece right there, but... I, that's that's that I'd have to make a monumental effort to uh, cut myself. Let's uh, clear the workspace and clean it up. Take maybe a little bit of a closer look, and then we'll get it apart, get it checked in. All right, a trusty, dirty microfiber. The micarta lately um, is just stellar, just wonderful. So they've got the inset um, on the inside, but they've got some relief here to create that spring. Yeah, the micarta, so nice. Let's get it open. Oh. That's pretty cool. Nice little thwack. Yeah. Great action. Almost drop shut. Got a spidey flick. It's kind of heavy. A heavy blade. That's a big blade. Hmm. Let's get it cleaned up and taken apart. How about that? What we got here? I'm not sure whose logo that is. Can't say I know. But TS380 14C28N. Great steel. Sharpened so well. This uh, uh, carbon fiber, it's got a great texture to it. It's actually kind of rough here. I mean, rough's probably too big of a word, but it's not smooth. This thing feels really good in the hand, and maybe that's part of the appeal. Great jimping down the top, really sharp. It bites. It's definitely going to lock you in. This will lock in me, lock in my fingers from the front. I don't have any concerns about going forward on this knife. This is probably useless here for me. I'd end up cutting myself right up on that tip. Um, but man, that's a good grip there. No hot spots. I can feel the clip in there, but slightly. It's not, it's not harsh at all. So great grip, great feel. Let's get it apart.
take the pressure off that detent. It's got some uh, back pressure on that screw, which is nice. Probably won't need uh, Loctite. Oh, T6s. So, out of the blue for no reason, T6 hardware up on this back. Which, I mean, here again, it's not the end of the world. But, it's more so from a disassembly aspect. It's like, well, now i got to change screwdriver tips. As far as the structural integrity of the knife, I don't, you know, I don't believe it's affecting that at all. There we go. Are we going to come loose? Yep. Uh, that's held on from the inside, so I don't think there's any escape in that. There we go. Got some oil and goop up in there. Not too bad. Doesn't look horribly dirty. But I've said it before, say it again. Can't possibly hurt to clean it. Get this oil sopped up and then reasonably lube it on the bearings um, can't help but do anything but improve the action the function of the knife boy that's a hunk of a blade that's some blade stock right there let's start there Oh, hey, look here. So, come on. Whack. I don't know if that happened since I've gotten it, but that definitely contacted. Um, trying to see. Well, I can see it right there. There's that tiniest little hump. Right there on that backspacer to accommodate this screw. See that little hump? Well, that hit that hit that blade. So I'll definitely have to sharpen it down past that point. That's a no good bummer. And I'd say that I could trim this, but. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of space in that to take that down. I may do a little bit of both. Wow. But yeah, that that absolutely whacked that blade. I mean, I'm I'm gonna have to work a little to get that out of there. Oh, Okay, well, that's a negative. But we shall march on. Let's get this cleaned up. And uh, I'll make a decision on whether or not I'm going to trim up that, that backspacer. I most likely will. Because it didn't contact anywhere but there. So by trimming that down, I may eliminate the whole thing, but there's a chance that if I, if I trim, let me get my little file. If I trim this one down right here, this one's got a little hump too. So it could hit there or, or it could hit, it could hit that whole thing. Yeah. So if I clearance, if I 
sharpen the blade and I clearance the blade so it doesn't contact that, then I should be good across everything because that's the only place it hit right there. So, mm, lots of focus issues here. It's me trying to show you and look and figure it out all at the same time. I'll finish cleaning all this and make a decision whether to work on that backspacer a little bit or just solely do it in the blade. Um, not sure how easy that would be to do this backspacer Well, that's weird. This side's a T8. So, what the heck? Oh, well, I guess that's kind of making sense. They put T6s on the other side because they're trying to clearance, trying to clearance this right here. I get it. Well, that need to come off anyways. Got all that goop in there. Get all that oil off of that. All right. Well, I think I'm going to pause this video. And I'm going to take a look at that backspacer. And then I'll come back. So, in a quick little click, I'll be gone and back. Okay. That took no time on your end but a little bit of time on my end so i i did attack this backspacer i hit it with some 80 grit first on my work sharp and then i came back and used some 220 on it more of a refined edge and then i hit this front one too so the part that was nicked is completely gone so I'm gonna put it back together and sharpen it and then see how it goes because you know less is more I can always come back in here and take more and I can always sharpen the knife more as it is I'm going to have to sharpen that out of there either way so I'll sharpen that out get it down to that spot and put it back together and then I'll resume the video. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together in the video. So let me knock that out. And then the sharpening and dealing with that, I will deal with. Um, maybe I'll splice in another video with that. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this first. So let's get her put back together. Did I pull that scale? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's an opportunity to talk about, you know, how sometimes a knife comes with a, a flaw. And that that is clearly a flaw. Um, I guess I'll, I'm going to go back and do it the way I got it apart. These two T8s go in there. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes whew, the tolerance on this is pretty stellar, pretty solid. There's no, uh, 
There's no play in that that deal at all. All right, so there's that back together. My washer and my bearing still intact. So I'll go back to that. Am I missing a pin? No. It's got them internal pins on the blade. Kind of cool. This had some flex to it, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in with that T8 while I still have it on my screwdriver, which I think I changed it. I did. So let's get these T6s in. Yeah, so, I mean, sometimes a knife will come with a flaw. And, I mean, you kind of go, well, what did I pay for it? You know? Um, I mean, I've seen some guys pretty upset about a, a budget knife, a serious budget knife. And then it has a flaw in it, or it's not perfection. And, I don't know, for me, it's kind of like, well, I mean, what was I really expecting for... $34. Now this one, um, I think I picked this up around a hundred dollars on eBay. So, I mean, for a hundred bucks, I don't think I'm looking for that kind of a flaw where now I've got this issue with my blade that I got to get out of there. Now it's 14 C 28 in that's good. But it's 14C28N with a big dimple in it. So I can tell you that that action is night and day different just from cleaning it. So I've said it before, I'll say it again, that, you know, I mean, a disassemble on a knife. And it doesn't got to be a Tucson, any knife. Yeah. Wow. All right. So I'm looking in here now. I'm not sure if I can get that to focus down in there. I'm looking at that dimple. And the one that it contacted was this back one. Back in here. And so there is no contact now. It didn't change that in there at all. So I'm definitely going to, I'm going to sharpen that out of that. And I'm not even going to test the sharpness of the knife because it don't matter at this point. Um, I'm going to sharpen it and then I'll try to add that back. But now this action, whoo, I mean, boop, fall shut. And got a great spidey flick. That thumb flick is simple. And then this, the jimping doesn't come around the edge, but still, that thing just smashes out there. So I'll sharpen it up and add it to this video later. Okay, so I probably could have just kept the video running because uh, I just... I couldn't live with it. I had to do something. So I went ahead and reprofiled this edge and knocked that chip out of there. And I, I took it through the progression of my belts, um, starting with a 80 grit. And with that 80 grit, then I took that, that little bump out of there. And once I got that out of there and I got a burr, then I run it through my progression of belts that I used to sharpen it. So basically I run it through my whole thing. I'm going to say it took me 20 minutes maybe. It's got kind of a polish on it. I mean, it looks good. And 
Yeah. Cuts good. So I haven't done it yet. The question is, what's going to happen when I close it? Is it going to smack? Is it going to blade wrap again and uh, smack it? Kind of almost makes you want to not do it, right? Because what if it does and I got to do it all over again? But I have to do it because there's no way I could carry this knife and then not just shut it. So you know what? Let's just do it. Let's see what's up. So I definitely smacked that down. Let's hit it a couple of times. Let's see what's up. I mean, it's fall shutty at this point. This thing just whoop and closes up. The blade is perfectly centered. And I know you want to know what I want to know is what happened. And, you know, between, between what I did to the backspacer and sharpening this knife, that took care of it. So we're also going to look in here. Man, I'm so happy. So that's where it was hitting was that bump right there. And so it's kind of hard to get it to focus down in there. Um, I might be able to do it here. Yeah, it's not wanting to focus in there, but I'm going to look in there and I can see that it is not contacting. So, yeah, you know, it came with a problem. But a little bit of work and it's resolved. It's not striking it. I don't have any play in the blade. And uh, honestly, it's sharper than when it came, which is why I pretty much sharpen all my knives because I know I can put just a little bit of work in it and it be... I mean, these two suns come pretty dang sharp they really do um sometimes even ridiculous sharp but i know that i can get an edge on it and it's something that that uh i guess as a knife collector you kind of get into after a while and uh so there it is the tucson 380 and uh I'm going to definitely get it in my pocket. It's kind of a chunk. sort. Well, not really. I mean, it's not heavy at all. I'm definitely going to put it in my pocket. I know that a lot of people think really highly of it. So, I mean, now that it's not, it doesn't have blade wrap, I think I like it a lot better too. And uh, that'd be a good pocket knife. Great action. All right. Appreciate you watching. Sorry for the splice. I should have just kept it running. Maybe even tilted my camera over and let you watch me sharpen it. But I can do a video on sharpening. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.